Hi, I'm Pat Sagsby. Welcome to another Geek Moment video. Today I want to talk to you about the AS3935 lightning sensor from AMS. This is a lightning sensor that can detect lightning up to 40 kilometers away and it can estimate the distance to the head of the storm up to one kilometer away. This utilizes a proprietary algorithm that helps it to reject man-made disturbers and that uses the electrostatic discharge of lightning to detect the electromagnetic radiation. The IC looks for a multi-stage crackling signature of a lightning stroke. This little unit is about 4.4 millimeters in size for the package. Um, it operates on a 2.4 to 5.5 voltage range and it utilizes I squared C and SPI protocols. To evaluate this, Microelectronica has made a clickboard, the ThunderClick. Uh, this is a, it follows a micro bus standard which defines the socket size for what it's going to fit into and it has a standardized pinout for the, uh, this one should be using SPI. Basically, you can plug this into, they've got other kind of host boards. Um, they've got the Micro 1984. Uh, this uses a 32-bit ARM Cortex. Um, on the back end, they've got the little sockets that you can plug these into. Um, I wasn't, I didn't find a whole lot of compilers for the ARM, but I know we were in contact with Microelectronica, and they are working on some examples for the ThunderClick. Um, there's the Micro 1581. This is an expansion board. Um, you've got your sockets here, and you can plug that onto something like an Arduino Uno here. So it'll be the same form factor and fit. Should be able to just plug that right in so you can see. Um, we're planning to put this on our weather station eventually. So what we did was we used a Pro Mini 3.3 volt Arduino here. We, we pulled some code off of GitHub and we'll have a link to that below for a thunder and lightning. They used a different, uh, they didn't use the Micro 1444, but the pinouts were similar enough where you could use their code examples. It wasn't too hard of a crossover. Um, so when we uh, took that code, basically what, it's, what, I, what it gave me was, I have to tune this antenna on the front. There is an MA5532-AE antenna that's on the front of this. And uh, there's about 15 different uh, tunings that this code allows you to do. Um, and it auto-tunes for you. Um, you can change the noise floor, the spike rejection, and the watchdog threshold on this. And uh, the noise floor is basically how much internal noise is generated inside of that chip. Uh, the spike rejection is going to allow you to reject man-made disturbers. So a lot of things like um, fluorescent bulbs, barbecue lighters, uh, ignition systems, appliances, things of that nature. Uh, this will pick that up, but you can tune that out. So that's a, that's a nice way that they help you to remove any, any possible non-lightning electrostatic discharge events. These products can be found on digikey.com. We'll have links below, and thank you for watching.